I'm here to tell you about a significant milestone that we've accomplished today. We've put in our high purity C6 column. It, in combination with what we've already done, that's going to lead Shell to being the largest alpha olefins producer in the world. HPC 6 column in this case is 215 foot tall, top to bottom. Uh, we dressed it out with everything we could dress it out prior to the lift. But we came together as a group, Turner, Deep South, Jacobs, Shell. Uh, basically we cleared out a whole block and we went off, we made the lift this morning, everything went off without a hitch. This lift was a complicated lift due to the, the length and size of this column. Uh, both cranes picked the tower up horizontal out of the saddles, made sure everything was secured, and then the heavy lift crane started hoisting up on the tower. And once the tail crane was able to swing around in front of him, the heavy lift crane positioned the tower in between the two cranes to be in a better position for tailing it up. Once they got to that point, the tail crane, LR1200, started crawling towards the DMAG 6800 until they was able to stand the tower up vertical. Our crane operators typically start operating cranes at a young age and they start off as an oiler and then they work their way up, usually starting from a smaller size crane and then they excel in their career up to the larger cranes like this one here. This is probably one of only three that's in the States. It's roughly 1,370 ton crane. It's built in several different configurations. It'll be over 100 truck loads just to move it over a week to build it. Uh, the HBC 6 column that recently got placed behind me is a traditional distillation column. Uh, the way distillation works is you feed a mixture of chemicals into the vessel uh, and then separate them out based upon their differences in boiling point. The closer they are in boiling point, the bigger the column needs to be. Also, the higher purity product you're looking for, also the bigger the column needs to be. Uh, this is actually a pretty pure stream going in and it needs to be a much purer stream coming out, which is actually why it's one of the largest vessels you're actually going to see on the entire site. AO4 really represents that first foundation for the next 50 years of Geisner, and that's a legacy that leaves positive impacts both here locally with local families, local communities, and then within Shell and Marge.